to come forward and meet high cities future needs as well. Therefore, any room of further expansion needed by high city in the future. And we foresee we need a lot of rooms. We do not need to look at anywhere else. I say this is because currently high city holds a license for Asia, the patented technology of the Fenopec aerosol models. This model is aimed at replacing the metal cans currently used in products such as insecticide spray, hairspray, shaving cream, paint, etc. This model is in our final stage of testing. And once commercialized, you need a lot of space to cater for production and storage. Another project currently underway is the research of my it is the research in micro area. We are aiming at de developing diagnostic chips for specific detection of genetic markers of diseases before such diseases manifest themselves. This lab on a chip will be simple to operate and cheap to use, making them affordable to all medical practitioners for screening purposes thereby enable early detection of chronic diseases such as cancer and diabetes so that preventive measures can be taken before such diseases develop. By doing so, billions of ringgit can be saved in medication and in patient care, not to mention about the saving with loss of man hours and other non monetary resources. We foresee this will happen in 2009 or 2010. Again, new facilities will be required for such purposes. Ladies and gentlemen, biotechnology is the technology of the 21st century. Countries all over the world have jumped onto the bandwagon due to its duplicative return. However, it is also a costly and time-consuming game. Such ventures will need to have a big pocket and an, an inexhaustible amount of stamina to ensure succeed. I'm pleased that the government has realized this and has come up with numerous schemes, financial or otherwise, to facilitate the development of this technology of the new era. Over the past 40 years, Pinet has been a pioneer in bringing the new technology, in, in bringing new technologies to the country. I remember I traveled from Aitam to my bicycle to all the way to Bayamna Pass to catch uh, fighting fish. You know, it was a huge paddy field at that time. And now it is the Silicon Valley of the East. We had the world's top of the longest bridge built in the 80s. And now we are going for a second bridge which is even longer. I strongly believe Penang will again lead in biotechnology. We have a school of pharmaceutical sciences that is very strong in research. We have the Penang Science Park in place. We have the Bio Valley in uh, Bukit Minyak where a number of low, uh, uh, what is called high-tech uh, companies are located. And most important of all, we have our Honorable Chief Minister whose able leadership this uh, business-friendly government. ICT is proud to be able to contribute to the development of Penang as the leading state in biotechnology in Malaysia. Finally, once again, I would like to sincerely thank Samana Raya Prahat for their confidence in us, to our Honorable Chief Minister, and all our business associates and friends for their valuable support and to make this morning's function and success. Thank you very much and best wishes to all of you. Thank you.